Hello, I am Jason, better known as Jay the Ninja, and I am here with a quick little tip on how to make panel gaps in Blender using just the modifiers. So I'll just give it a quick little example. I'm going to add a UV sphere here. Test light it up a bit, smooth shade it. Alright, so let's say we wanted to make this some sort of exotic sci-fi ball, and we wanted it to look like it was made out of multiple interlocking panels. Or we can actually do that in Blender using just the modifier stack, so we never have to modify our base mesh. So the first thing we're going to do is drop into edit mode really quick, and this is going to be the only step we do in edit mode. Is we're just going to mark where we want the panel gaps. Probably do those edges. Yeah, let's do a little complicated path here. Maybe down there. Maybe outline bit like that. We'll make another panel going this way. Alright, that's pretty good. So first of all, we need to flag these as actually being gaps for Blender. So hit Control E and hit Mark Sharp. And that won't actually change your model at all in edit mode. It'll just tell Blender that marker is where edge splits need to be. So go ahead and hit Tab, drop out edit mode. We won't need to use that anymore. Go over to your modifier stack, and the first thing we need to do is actually use those sharp edges to split the mesh. So go ahead and add an edge split modifier at the top. I'm going to uncheck edge angle, we're not going to be using that. And there you can kind of see we have little gaps in that. It doesn't look like panels yet, but we'll get there. So add another modifier below that, solidify. Getting somewhere. First of all, go ahead and drop over to the mesh panel, select auto smooth and change it to 30 degrees. That way we don't have the weird distortion around the solidifies. And second, on the solidify modifier, get under this checkbox called only rim and enable it. That will prevent solidify from making a back face, which we're never going to see on this anyway. And it saves a whole lot of polys. You see when you flip it off, our triangle count goes to 8,500, flip it back on, we're back to 4,000, which is only slightly more than the model with no modifiers at all. So finally, to make those actually look like nice rounded gaps, we are going to add bevel at the bottom and go ahead and set it to angle offset. For some more complicated panel gaps, you may need to use weight or vertex group to actually mark where your gap edges are. But in this case, this is a simple enough design that we can do it with just edge angle. And, well, there you go. We've cut panel gaps. And the great thing about this is it's totally non-destructive. You can drop into edit mode and decide, nah, I don't really like there being a panel edge there. We just select those edges, control E, clear sharp, no more gap there. And if we decide we want, say, this entire edge here to be a gap, select it, control E, mark sharp, it's a panel gap. So I hope that helps you with your little um, sci-fi sphere doodads, and thank you for watching.